What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Andrew and this week we are in Toothless's cage. We are upgrading the humidifier. I'm Andrew Edwards. I've spent most of my life learning about animals. And now, focusing on education, breeding, care, and the discovering of new animals. Welcome to Andrew's Reptile Art. So our water monitor cage, which we're in right now, is eight feet by six feet by more than six feet tall. That's a big area, and normal reptile humidifiers actually don't really work that well for something of this size. They're constantly running all the time. It doesn't work. I'm tired of it. That kind of sounds like an infomercial. Are you tired of your reptile humidifier? Are you seeing it on constantly? Introducing this new humidifier that fills a room in seconds. That's basically what this is. It's a fantastic system. You guys will love it and we'll show you a video of it finally coming on for the first time. We just got it, just installed it. So this is how powerful this new system is. It pumps out humidity out of that tube and it could fill up an entire room very quickly. As you can see, this is a lot more powerful than your standard reptile fogger. So this is the kind of system you need when you're doing a large enclosure like this one, and you can even have them paired up to another cage. And I'll show you what Rex looks like right now. So this is Rex's going on at the same time as Toothless's. So it's actually filling up two enclosures very quickly. So normal reptile foggers don't do a great job of humidifying large cages. And that's why I really made this video. I found a new system that I actually really like. It's fairly cheap if you think about it over long term because they're designed to last long term. And they work so much better than these things. Normal reptile humidifiers have one ultrasonic disc. This one that I just got has three, and the big one I just hooked up has 12. That's 12 times the power of a normal reptile humidifier. These can go in large enclosures, custom built enclosures mainly, just because of the sheer size. When you're doing a regular glass enclosure, you can kind of cover the top of the cage, and it's really not that bad you can get away with having them on high bowser is still operating on a regular system that's fine don't have any problems with that it's just one enclosure but when you start talking about a giant enclosure like toothless's he's our asian water monitor it's eight feet by six feet that's a crazy area to fill with humidity and this system works perfect so how these work is there's two holes on the top or three in the case of this model. Because of how many heads it is, it's way too much humidity to go through one pipe. So when you increase the number of heads, you should be increasing the number of holes or I feel like it doesn't shoot out as quick and it has nowhere else to go. You have a pipe running out of one end and a fan on the other, but the fan is connected to the same system as the humidifier. It turns on both of them at once and the fan naturally pushes the air from the tote out through the vents or the tubes and then into your cage. This one is designed for a 20 foot by 20 foot greenhouse. That's what these things are really used for. So they definitely work on reptile enclosures. No matter how big, this will work for it. Think about it, 20 by 20. How many enclosures out there are that big? You can buy sizes that go from two, three, 10, 5, I've seen them all, and they really max out about 12. And if you really needed it, you can really hook up two of these things and pump it into one enclosure if you really want it to go big. In this scenario, this one works fine. So now, pretty much 20 seconds in, you can barely see the water now. Completely foggy. This area up here is still not as foggy. It's pumping into the water right now because, look at that, I can't even blow it out. 
it drips from the pipe into the water. So it's better to put these over ponds or like kind of like water dishes so that when it drips, it doesn't drip all over your floor. And it's still going out. That's Rex's over there. Pretty much entirely full. Now this is one of the first times I've turned on today. I wanted to show you the real power of these things. They're unlike any fogger, like I said before, that any reptile company makes. And that's what we want for huge enclosures like this. That's what you wanted to see in this video. Like you just saw in 30 seconds, it filled up pretty much half of the cage, if not more. 30 seconds, you know how long a regular reptile humidifier would need to fill that area? Probably take half the day to make it as about as humid as possible in there. So as you can see behind me, Bowser is still on the old system. This doesn't produce nearly as much as the one you just saw. I wish I could hook him up, but unfortunately the room really doesn't work for that kind of big reservoir. And that's another thing I want to add on to this thing. These little humidifiers don't have that big of a reservoir. Maybe three liters, not very big at all. That's like three to five gallons. And the bigger reservoir you provide, the less often you actually have to change out the water. Look, Bowser over here just wants one. He's hungry today, it's feeding day. But you can use these on a wide variety of different animals. Water dragons, water monitors, tegus, any high humidity animal. Green iguanas need a big cage, you can use it for that too. You can use these for a wide variety of different animals. Really, I would recommend this for anything custom made, but this system is amazing. I don't think I'm ever gonna go back to these small humidifiers on these large cages. It just doesn't make sense. Why are you gonna spend the money for that? I mean, these are a little expensive, so if you wanna save money, probably works better just to go with that. But some of you do have large enclosures. This will work beautifully. You don't have to even spring for the 12 head humidifier. You can get a five or a six, five doesn't make sense, so six. Six, and it'll work perfectly fine for you. But I don't think I'll ever go back to those systems. They really don't make sense. And to be honest, I've gone through like eight of them. They burn out all the time. They run hot and then they burn out. These things are constantly have water in them. They're constantly cool. They have shut off systems. They have low water sensors that will shut them off if they are above the water. You have your humidifier gauge that's constantly monitoring that. They turn on, turn off. These things I can't say enough about. They're amazing. So I highly recommend you guys getting them. If you guys can get this system, your animals will sure appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you liked the video. And don't forget to check out our other channels, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.